Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday, December 1st, 2022. It is a cloudy day outside, although there are some patches of blue sky out there as well. About 17 degrees here at the house, so it's a chilly one. Make sure you bundle up before you leave the house. Check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here. Cheers, church. All right. So our Devo, again, comes from our Prophets and Promises Advent devotional book. And our writer is still pretty sure. Hold on. Yeah, Pastor Harvard Stevens from Annapolis, Maryland. And our picture today is like a, a mother and a daughter reading a book by flashlight. Like they're maybe camping out or something. Having a good time there. The uh, scripture reading is Matthew 24, 36, and 42. So two verses from Matthew. About that day and hour, no one knows, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. The two ponder part is a quote from a sermon written by Mary Martha Canass. K-A-N-N-A-S-S, Canass, sermon preached on March 8th, 2006, to ponder. God knows you in and out, left and right, through and through, up and down. God knows you more than you know yourself. And this God who knows you so well, loves you even more than you can know. It's a beautiful, beautiful line. I mean, let me read that again for us. God knows you in and out, left and right, through and through, up and down. God knows you more than you know yourself. And this God who knows you so well, loves you even more than you can know. The Devo is titled, <coughs> excuse me, What Faith Knows. We've all heard the phrase, God only knows. It's a common way to end speculation about things we can neither prove nor predict. And the truth is, God does not disclose everything to us. There are things only God knows. We do know, however, that God's promises are trustworthy. We can celebrate the promises kept in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, rejoice in what God is doing right now, and trust in the promises that God will one day fulfill. The love of God is made known to us in Jesus. God's love for us, our love for God, and our love for one another are all meant to intertwine and interact. During these weeks in Advent, take time to share God's love with others. Speaking and acting with love are dependable signs that Christ is with us now. Christ is with us now. Yeah, that, uh, that, that quote from the sermon by Pastor Mary is just, just beautiful. And it's a good reminder for us, now for me anyway, and hopefully maybe for you as well, is that, that God knows us so well. And we know ourselves, right? We know our, our failures, our mistakes, our faults. Um, and we tend to focus on those things, right? Oh, I, I, I screwed up there. I messed up there. I shouldn't have said that. I did that. I, yeah. And, and we tend to focus on those things. And to, to, to hear that God knows all about those things and loves us anyway um, is a beautiful message. And then to also realize that God, uh, that we have good qualities too, right? <laughs> we're, we're kind and we're patient and we're, we're helping others and and we do those things as well and uh, God loves us for those as well so yeah it's God knows us inside and out up and down through and through as Pastor Mary said and uh, and loves us loves us more than we can know and then that love isn't just for us though to keep and hoard and and, and hold on to it it's for us to share so we love God back we love ourselves and we love one another um, yeah, that's what we do. 
We, we share the light of Christ. We share the love of the light of Christ with others. That's our calling as uh, followers of Jesus. So worship tonight at six o'clock in the sanctuary. It's our midweek Advent worship. Uh, slightly different than our, slightly different format than normal and slightly different than what we do on Sundays too. Just, just to change things up for Advent a bit, just to, yeah, just do something a little bit different. Um, and then Sunday, second Sunday of Advent, worship at nine o'clock in the sanctuary. That's also live streamed on our YouTube channel. And then will be posted to YouTube and Facebook later in the day. So, yeah, so there we go. Be of strong heart and good courage this day to your church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks, distance is appropriate. All that stuff is, is helping. We're in the low range now, so keep it up and we'll stay there. We do these things to show love to one another and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. God of mystery, thank you for promises fulfilled, promises yet to come, and your love that will not let us go. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.